Srila Gurudev is going to be speaking on the Srimad Bhagavatam this week. This Chintya Prabhu just gave Srila Gurudev a copy of the original printing that when Srila Prabhupada, His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada came here from India, the first set of Bhagavatams he brought he brought with this cover and this printing, the original editing, in his own hands. And we have made an exact reprint, as Shinja Prabhu has made an exact reprint of the original Bhagavatams printed by Srila Prabhupada in India and brought here to America. And so Srila Gurudev is going to be speaking from these Bhagavatams during this Harikatha festival. So, everyone, please pay close attention to hearing the transcendental sound vibration from the lotus lips of the pure devotee and receive the aroma of the saffron particles from the lotus feet of the Lord on your hearts.
विष्णु पदाय गौर प्रष्ठाय भोतले श्री श्रीमद भक्ति प्रज्ञान के सवती नाम अति मत चरित्राय स्वाशितानिने जीव दुखे सदाताय नाम प्रेम प्रदान वंशा कल्पतरो कृपा सिंधु पति पावन वैष्णवभ्यो नमो महावदन्नाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नमने गौरतिशे गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो तवैवास्मे तवैवास्मे नजीवा तया विना विज्ञाय राधे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मई मिलियंस ऑफ डंडवत प्रणाम इन दी लोटल सीट ऑफ मई परमाराध्यतम गुरु पाद पद्म ओम विष्णु पाद अष्टोत्तर श्री श्रीमद भक्ति प्रज्ञान के शो गोस्वामी महाराज इन सेम मिलियन ऑफ डंडक प्रणति इन दी लोड स्ट्रीट ऑफ मई शिक्षा गुरु ओम विष्णु पार श्री श्रीमद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट इन मे आई मीन How many devotees are here to hear to hear Hari Katha? Especially Krishna Himself descended in this world, taking the beauty and instant intrinsic mode of Sri Mati Radhika. As Sachinandan Gauri, why he came? Because we are eternal servant of Krishna. But unfortunately, we have forgotten from endless birth and death, from the beginning of this creation. we are separated from him and still now we are traveling here there in this world that world sometimes stands poor sometimes like demi gods and such in happiness but anyone is not happy if for some time he may be happy but all day must come and one day you will have to give up this body to this body you are thinking myself but this body is not soul or super soul this is a bag of urine blood and stool so many things but even we are very much entangled to this sense gratifications krishna has mercifully given a very good chance that he has given you this 
human form. Intelligence, even. Labhvasu durlabhamidam bhau sambhavante manusham arthadam anityam api adhira turnam jatet na patet anumatya javat nishesaya vishyavu khalu sarvatas. Very precious human body. And our body is very strong, beautiful. Guru is there. He is coming to your doors and calling you. And Krishna mercy that he has given satsangha like this. Time to time you meet sadhu sangha. But we don't give any importance of this. Neglect. If you will miss Tunam Jatet Na Patet Anumatya Jau, try to know for yourself and super soul. If you are missing, again you will have to go in so many various pieces of life that is donkey, monkey, hog, shoe, and you will have to must go in this species of life. So, be careful for this Krishna came. But he did not, did not give, give process of having, attending Prem. Parsi Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his followers, like Guru Sanatana, Goswami and others. They are giving the process. So, all the associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came in the form of Vaishnava Acharya, nearly Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami. And he sent one, his disciple, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj to Western country. And after that, he is inspiring me to come to all these places. So, I think that you should use this humor form in proper way. You should realize soul and super soul and the relation between Krishna and us in this life. Otherwise, in other species of life. You cannot. You cannot. That is why Swamiji came and in few couple of years he established so many preaching centers in America, then European countries, England and France and other places, in Australia, in Malaysia, at prefer. Even those who are coming only by His grace, reading His books. So, we should try to listen Hari Katha very carefully and also follow. If you will not follow totally, then you cannot realize. So, why our Kyam Buddhi? Maam Buddhi Prabhu, Bhagavat Prabhu, and other devotees has called me. 
और माम बुद्धि प्रभु विल स्पेक टू वर्ड्स वाई यू कॉल वाई स्वामी जी कैन हरे कृष्णा सो शुरू गुरुदेव जास मी टू से समथिंग सो अनफॉर्चुनेटली फॉर एवरी वन आई ट्राई माई बेस्ट टू से समथिंग शुरू गुरुदेव इज कमिंग इन अ ट्रेडिशन of our gaudiya charyas and this tradition are like flowers on a flower garland and what is this flower garland this is the mercy of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu that his goravani that his desire that all living entities become free from this material world and be able to go back home to their natural state in the in their position of the servant of radha krishna he wanted to give this and so by his desire and his followers we are so fortunate to have come in, in association of our gaudiya charyas as shri gurudev is explaining the mercy of lord chaitanya is coming down in in bhakti nathakur bhakti sarant saraswati we are also finding bhakti pragyan keshav goswami maharaj we are finding bhakti rakshak shridhar we are also finding it coming down to our shri gurudev ac bhakti vidant swami shri prabhupad who came through this western world with no money 5 dollars on a ship a great hardship at so all the time to come to preach to give this mercy from that he has received from his guru dev and has received coming from radha krishna down to lord chaitanya this his desire to preach his desire to give everyone this opportunity is unfathomable to us so we are so fortunate that coming down also from shri prabhupad we are seeing now again the second time for some of us would see on this planet a pure devotee of the lord who in the same preaching manner as our gaudiya charyas is, is coming at great expense to his own health at great mercy to keep all of us his children inspired so that we don't we don't become dried up by lack of association so shri lokadev coming here uh, is like a very wonderful thing for all of us we know it is the most rarest thing in this world to actually have association of pure devotee so we thank all of you for coming and for those of us here in south florida shilo guru dev has been here for a month and it's like the waves of the the ganges is over flooding in south florida there's so many of his angas that are preaching and now a tidal wave is coming and this tidal wave of hari naam and hari kirtan is sweeping through all of you and you are all now floating in the nectar of the holy name hari ivo the path puru prabhu will speak to us Sanskrit Saraswati Thakur wrote one article about uh, Thakur Bhakti Vinod. And in that article, he said, "What are the scriptures?" He said, "The scriptures are not to be little them, but are nothing more than the uh, written record of the words that emanate from the lips of self-realized pure devotees." So we're all very fortunate uh, to be able to assemble. just as the sages of Naima Sharan were able to assemble to hear the Sukhdev Goswami just as the sages uh and Maharaj Prakash were able to assemble to hear the Sukhdev Goswami were similarly very fortunate to have come from so many places to also be able to hear uh the words that emanate from the lotus lips of another sad guru acharya this is language of the bhakti and the rain of Swami Maharaj yeah. Gurudev has ordered me to speak. By his order, I will say a few words, offering my pranams millions of times first to my Diksha Guru Shri Prabhupada, and then to the Lord Shri Mai Shri Guru Shri Gurudev. Shri Prabhupada's pranam mantra: Namaste Saraswati Devi. गौरवानी प्रचारी ने ने विशेष शून्यवारी पश्चात चार्य जताया है नेविशेष शून्यवारी 
First, Srila Prabhupada had to come to this country to cut, as Srila Gurudev says, to the jungles of Nirvishesha and Shunyava to defeat the thousands of years of Mayavadi philosophy which has come down from the Western religious philosophies like Judeo-Christian philosophy, Muslim philosophy. These religions taught a very impersonalistic concept and these impersonalistic concepts filtered into all of the philosophy, all of the psychology, all of the education of Western world. So to defeat this Nirvishesha Sunyavadi, Srila Prabhupada had to come first to cut down these jungles of Nirvishesha Sunyavadi. But he also wrote many, many books. And within his books and within his teachings, he also gave Gauravani Pacharya. That the Supreme Personality of Godhead is Brajendranandam Sri Krishna that his Dham Sri Vrindavan is not different from him. And that the worship that has been conceived by the gopis of Vrindavan is the greatest form of worship, that nothing is superior to this. Srila Prabhupada gave all of these gems, all of these wonderful gems within his books and within his teachings, but it was not easy to access them. It was not easy to access them because we were not prepared at the time. So he sent a great Mahabharat, a very dear Shiksha disciple of his, Srila Gurudev, to come to unlock the treasure chest of divine teachings within his books so that we could go and find these gems. My other Shiksha Guru, Srila Gorbavinda Maharaj, used to say that the ocean is very deep and at the bottom of the ocean many gems are found, but you have to go very deep. You know, if you don't go very deep and you stay on the surface, all you catch is fish. But if you go very deep, then you can get many gems. But how you will go without a guide? Therefore, Shikshu Guru is required, Mahabhagavat is required, to take you deep into the ocean to find the Ratnagarbha, the great gems of transcendental wisdom, the Gauravani Vicharyane. Shiva Guru Dev has come very mercifully to teach us this great Gauravani Vicharyane to teach us about Prajendranandan Sham, to teach us about Prindavandam, and to teach us about Radhadasyam, the great treasure chest of serving Srimati Radharani and the gopis and serving in this mood. This is a very special gift that he has come to bring to us in the Western world and all over the world. And by hearing the transcendental sound vibration from the lotus lips of the pure devotee, the Srimad Bhagavatam, 4th Canto, 20th Chapter, 25th verse, teaches us that the transcendental sound vibration from the lotus lips of the Lord purifies the hearts of the living entity by carrying the aroma of the saffron particle, Shudakana, into the hearts of the living entities. And by purifying them gradually, 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 under the guidance of the Mahabhagavat, one can achieve transcendental realization of all the truths of Gauravani. So we are very fortunate to have Srila Gurudev here. Srila Prabhupada says in the purport to the second canto, third chapter, 24th verse, that one must study the transcendental Vedic literatures under the direct guidance of a self-realized soul. Failing this, one cannot understand the secrets of the Vedic literature. So we are very fortunate that we have our dear Shri Gurudev coming here to teach us this great transcendental knowledge. As he said, Shri Prabhupada asked him to do this and by under Shri Prabhupada's direction he has come here to do it. We are very, very grateful and we cannot repay you the debt that we owe you for having come here to teach us, even in your advanced age of hope. So we thank you so much, Shiva Gurudev, for coming to teach us. Shiva Gurudev Ki Jai! Shiva Gurudev Ki Jai! Shapad Jalakar Prabhu is very prasim. Senior devotee. He has sat with Gurudev. He should speak something. Jalakar Prabhu. You? Please. So we have no more cell phone services. Thank you. Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak. I'm not qualified to speak, 
Actually, I'm terrified to speak also. <laughs> uh, I've been very fortunate in my life. I can only speak about myself. I don't know anything else. I've been very fortunate in my life to have two great relationships. The first was with Srila Prabhupada, who very kindly accepted me as his disciple and saved me. But I was a young boy, and I couldn't really have a close relationship with Srila Prabhupada. And there were so many older people, more qualified, I felt afraid to get too close. So then one day in 1999, His Divine Grace Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj manifested himself in my home. And he was very kind to me, and I had many questions, and he patiently answered all of those questions. And I used to cause great distress to Sripad Madhav Maharaj and Sripad Rajanath Prabhu, because I would always be there talking to him and asking him questions, and I would be there during the massage, and Gurudev was supposed to be relaxing, and he would be talking to me. And they would say, Gurudev needs to relax, you can't talk with him right now. Eventually they banned me from being there. <laughs> but he was so kind to me. There's no reason to be kind to me. I have no talents, nothing special. But by his mercy, he has helped me to have some little bit of understanding of the absolute truth. For that, I cannot refuse his order. I am his surrendered servant, and I am so happy that he's kindly accepted me as his Siksha disciple. Thank you, Srila Narayan Maharaj, Srila Gurudev, for being kind to me. And thank you so much for coming here to Florida again for us all. Thank you very much. Very Nishkinchan Prabhu. Nishkinchan Prabhu. You should come. You speak say something and I, I find it very hard at this time to say anything. I am very choked up. That he has once again come and given us his mercy. Uh, uh, I really I really don't I really can't say anything. <laughs> if you let me speak I'll speak. <laughs> um we are we are very fortunate. We can I I myself have some little understanding, some little realization of how fortunate that we are. Shiva Prabhupada was here. We were all in great ecstasy, and then he left, and, and we just we were not in such ecstasy anymore. And then uh, without any of us asking him. No, as far as I know, none of us really invited Srila Gurudev to come. He was, he, I think he was ordered <laughs> by his own spiritual master and Srila Prabhupada to come and help us. So, uh, we're, we cannot actually understand our good fortune. Every now and then I get some glimpse of how fortunate I have become. Every now and then. And uh, my request to everyone, is that you also try very hard to serve Srila Gurudev and you will also get some understanding of what he is giving. And you will not, you cannot, it is really impossible to describe. And uh, 
One time, Phil Gurdjieff grabbed me, and he, he whispered, he says, you cannot repay me. <laughs> and in the set of books I have given him, I ended it with that. That my understanding is that these books were originally printed by Srila Prabhupada in India in uh, 1962, 63, 64. And when he uh, set sail for America, uh, my understanding it was Srila Gurudev who arranged for them to be shipped with Srila Prabhupada. So uh, from the very beginning, we should understand that even before uh, many of us were even a twinkle in our daddy's eyes. The Srila Gurudev uh, was serving very intimately our spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada. And then uh, from the very beginning, he was helping Srila Prabhupada help us. And uh, now we are very fortunate that twice a year he is traveling all over the world, despite so much inconvenience, despite his health. He is coming and giving us mercy more mercy, most mercy, and uh, we can all taste this mercy. Uh, we should not, I, I ask the devotees, do not become bliss bunnies. You just hop around and come to see Gurudev, hear a few things, and then hop back. Listen to what Srila Gurudev has to say, and somehow or another, in your heart, try and find what Gurudev wants you to do. Uh, my understanding is that there is only one question that one should ask the spiritual master. How may I serve you? And if we serve our spiritual master very nicely, uh, I myself, like I said, am getting some little realization. And uh, I think that I am a most unqualified person. And if I can get some little realization and it can bring tears to a wicked person's eyes, you will all benefit greatly by hearing the Hari Kata from Srila Guru. क्रोध परमानंद नित्यानंद राम अभिमान शून्य नित नगरी बिगार अक्रोध परमानंद अक्रोध परमानंद नित्यानंद अभिमान
Thank you. 